Well, it's January 31st, which means I'm 29 years old. That's right, they are turned 29 and that's when I want to start my vlog. So for the next year, to try and celebrate the last year of my 20s, I want to try and do more exciting, educational and just, you know, fun experiences. So I'm going to try and make this a regular series and it's going to be called 29. Um, so considering today is my birthday, I thought I've got the great idea for the first thing to do. So let's go do that. So I thought the best way to, you know, celebrate my birthday is to make a cake. And I've got a brother Lockie to help. So he's going to come with Hello. So, we have a cake. A board for the cake. Some fondant. So I need to smooth the fondant. Icing bag. And then lots of other just random little things to want. And then, find a surprise at the end. Probably going to grab the cake first. So the place we got all this stuff from, they have cake classes. But they weren't going to let me film in the cake class, so... They just agreed to sell me all the stuff and I'm just gonna give it a shot. So that's nice round cake, but it's a bit kind of curved at the top. I reckon we can fix this. No, I'm just gonna beat down this. Yeah. Okay, that boy wasn't the best. That's good enough. Now for the fondant. They did say like clean the surface, so... Do I need to microwave this to warm it up? Or and a pan, which is pretty much the same thing. Oh my god, this is solid. Microwave fondant? Question mark, question mark. <laughs> uh, yes, it will be fine. Sometimes it's too hard to just me, so I pop it in the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds, depending on how much I'm using. Perfect. And then the first time I ask a question, yeah, appreciate the help. Probably could do it being a little bit softer. Let's go for another 8 minutes. Alright, so we're going to go here. Typically two parts chocolate and one part cream. Oh, I'm gonna check if we have cream. Hmm. Yeah, I reckon we just melt a lot of chocolate, pour it over, and use this one like, stick. Do you want me to go get some cream? Uh, yeah, that'd be good. So you might also pause this by roll this out more and not get some cream. Alright, so got some more stuff. We actually have stuff to make ganache. So we have what do you mean, chocolate and cream. How much did it say? Um, the woman in the store said four parts chocolate, one part cream. The internet said two parts chocolate. One. Sorry. Yeah, because remember she was saying it needs to be sold up. So we want to go with more chocolate. Oh, okay. but Sorry, part three cream. parts chocolate, she said. Three. Now, Hanky King of Random is going to use his recipe for microwave chocolate, the 60 30 10 rule of business. Now that's 375, so we need 125 of cream. Exactly 125 ml of cream. Alright, 60 seconds in the microwave. Alright, ganache is almost ready. Now, time to pour the ganache on. See how this goes. Yeah, probably should have put that better. We have the ganache on the cake. We have our fondant nicely rolled out. The clock is going to help me with the next stage. Do you want to just grab two corners? So yeah, if you grab that, I'm going to try and go directly over the center. 
Good enough now, it's gonna go on the fridge so it can set, and then we'll bring out the icing stuff like that. Cool. Alright, so it's set in the fridge for a while and firmed it up, and now it's time to ice it. So we're gonna work out how to make ice it. Serve the icing into softened butter. Well, it's been sitting out for a bit, but it's not quite soft yet. Piping bag. This was the small piping bag, right? Yeah. Look at that. It's like literally as tall as my body. Well, maybe you should use a whisk. We've got a mini whisk, don't we? We do. We need a mini, mini whisk. I would call that soft and butter. Now, icing sugar. Yeah, so that is it's very yellow. Do you have food that? I can't buy it white though. <laughs> I want it white. I think I need a lot more ice and sugar. You can see how yellow it is, I think. Can you see it? So what I might do, because I'm not sure if that yellowness is gonna go away, so we're gonna add this. Add some red food coloring and a red color instead. Let's separate the butter. Yeah, I may screw this up too. Alright, let's see how it goes. Alright, well, at least all the oil will separate out of the soup top. so different from where I started. Now to go back around. I don't think this is the best choice for the bunting sort of piping. Or any sort, it's just tiny little holes. And I can't change the tip out there getting all this out, can I? Okay, I'm going to check them in the freezer briefly, in the fridge, because uh, that 
Five feet seems to have run. Alright, in the meantime, clean some of this up. Always clean up after you. Okay, so the cake has had a bit of time in the fridge to freeze. You can see the letters have run a bit, but now it's time for the little final secret piece. I wonder if we've got enough room for it. Ooh. Excellent. I mean, supposedly this is edible, but then it's got wires sticking out of it. Mm. Just watch your teeth when you eat it. How's it look? Yeah, it's pretty good. There you go, so pretty happy with that cake. Um, I mean, it's a little bit messy, but we have fun making it. And I think we're gonna keep it in the fridge now, and it'll probably be Friday night that we're all going out to dinner, so we'll be eating it then. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing more stuff like this in the future, so make sure you subscribe, like this if you liked it, and leave a comment to what else I should do. See you guys. Ten minutes?